Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Azim Bunatwala. I am uh, from India. Um, I live in a... You don't have to laugh at that. Uh, <laughs> India. Uh, no, I am from India. I live in the city of Mumbai. I live in a lovely part of the city called uh, Traffic. Uh, <laughs> And uh, you guys, you guys, you say you have traffic in Melbourne, and that is so cute, really. <laughs> Just like 10 cars out in the street, fucking hectic today, isn't it? Fuck off! <laughs> you know nothing about traffic. Like, if you see 10 cars on a road in India, there's two reasons for that. Public holiday, nuclear holocaust, all right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's a pleasure, it's a privilege to be at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Um, it's great to see all of you guys out here. It's great to see you guys laughing. There is a great statistic about laughing. It says that every time you laugh, it extends your life by two minutes. Yeah. A lot of bullshit, that is. <laughs> but we, we like to do this, right? We like to take facts and back them up with statistics. People say, don't smoke, man. Every time you smoke, it reduces your life by five minutes. And I'm like, cool. But how do you check? Like, what, is there an HR department in heaven where there's a guy with a calculator is going, hmm, minus five. <laughs> minus five. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> and if laughing does extend your life by two minutes, it must make the Grim Reaper's job very difficult. Yeah? Goes to an old man who's about to die. Come, old man, it is your time. And at that exact moment, the old man is like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll wait for two minutes then. <laughs> Fuck in four minutes. <laughs> Bro, just have a cigarette. Come on, we got a schedule to keep. Fuck! <laughs> I am a cigarette smoker myself, which is not the most fun thing to be in Australia because cigarettes are fucking expensive here, dude. $30 a packet, have you lost your minds? Death cannot be this expensive, come on. <laughs> and you're not allowed to bring your own cigarettes into the country, just allowed one packet, that's it. And, but is that stopping me from smoking? No. Because smokers, we may lack many things, but commitment is not one of them. <laughs> yeah. And I am not simply a smoker. No, 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 I'm a smoker. I'm also Indian and an engineer. Which makes me committed, cheap, and a fucking genius. But I, I find it incredible that with cigarettes being as expensive as they are, that homeless people over here have the audacity to come and ask me for cigarettes on the street. Yeah. Just every day, three guys that can have a cigarette, man, fuck off, no. It's too expensive, I can't afford this. Just some gold instead, it's cheaper. <laughs> it's ridiculous, I was reading up about this. The government of Australia apparently increases the prices of cigarettes by 12.5% every year. Which means that cigarettes may not be a great lifestyle choice, but I think they are a fantastic investment. <laughs> yeah. I think you should be advertising this on the radio. Like, why invest in the lottery of the stock market? when cigarettes could give you guaranteed returns. <laughs> buy 10 packs now and by 2025, you could put a down payment on a mansion <laughs> in Frankston North. It's a local reference, I have done my research. <laughs> True. But genuinely, it's great that you guys are in a position where, you know, your government is looking after your health. It's like discouraging you from smoking, like looking at healthcare at sort of, such a microscopic level. Because my government back home, we can't do this shit because we have like other priorities. My government is still trying to figure out how to get people to shit indoors. <laughs> we do not have the bandwidth for this level of woke just yet. So. <laughs> it's terrible. But I was, I was in Mumbai, in traffic, where I live, and uh, this advertisement, anti-smoking advertisement, played on the radio. It said, did you know? I said, I did not know. Please, continue. <laughs> you know why I was talking to the radio? That's how boring traffic gets. It said, did you know that six million smokers die every year? I said, hmm, that's pretty sad. But then I started doing the math, right? Engineering brain, started thinking. What if all these six million smokers were not dying every year? So I started calculating, right? Now, I was in India. India accounts for one-sixth of the world's population. So one-sixth of six million, one million of these smokers would be from India. Now, I was in Bombay. Bombay accounts for one percent of India's population. So one percent of one million, one thousand of these would be from Bombay. Traffic was very slow. I had a lot of time. <laughs> Further reading, one out of every 22 Bombay residents owns a car. So 1,000 divided by 22, that's 45. So in conclusion, if all these 6 million smokers were still alive, there would be 45 more cars in this traffic along with me. 
And I said, thank God. <laughs> Listen, why are we giving shit to smokers? Here, as a society, we are trying to find a solution to the population crisis. <laughs> smokers are voluntarily taking one for the team. <laughs> yeah? For all you non-smokers, think about it this way. For every 10,000 smokers who light up a cigarette, your chances of finding free parking 20 years later <laughs> improve exponentially. <laughs> So don't give us the cancerous lung and the smoking kill sign on the cigarette packet. Fuck that. Put a smiley face on there and say thank you. <laughs> Listen, man, you guys have been great. My name is Azim. Thank you so much.